Hello, welcome back to Double Reno Woodworking. So I've got the machine put together. Uh, I've got the monitor checked out, make sure that system was gonna work using TV as a monitor. I tested that already. I did that video, I'll put a link up there in the top right hand corner if you wanna watch that video. And so I'm ready to start hooking up wires and see if we can get this machine actually moving now. So I went ahead and ordered the extension cables right here. These are the cables that come with the machine. It's got the, the big connectors that go into the machine itself, into all the, uh, the Y's, X, Y, and Z axis motors to, to power the stepper motors. The small ends go into the controller box. And the extension cables only connect to the small ends. So I wish really they had made the extension cables the other way around with the big connectors on there because I don't know for sure yet, but my connectors where I go from a short cable to a long cable may end up being on top of the machine. I'd rather those be underneath, but either way, I really wish they'd just make where well, you can order these cables that are, I don't know, they're maybe three feet long, make these five feet long or something where you could pay extra if you want to mount underneath the table and you wouldn't have to use an extension at all, but it is what it is. Uh, so what I did is these things are all labeled on the, the small ends, like this one here is motor zero, motor three, and then the other ones go motor two, motor one. And that's the ones that are going into the controller. So we need to connect these extension cables on here. So what I did is I went and used my label maker and I labeled both ends. Like that's motor zero and this one's motor zero right here. So what I need to do is just go in here and it's got a locking thing so you can't put it in wrong right here and right here. So I'm just gonna connect. And that's not completely necessary. I just did just to make sure I didn't get anything crossed. So I got motor zero to motor zero. And I got motor three to motor three. So now I've got a really long cable for that one. And then on this one right here, I've got motor one, motor one. Oops, wrong end. Motor one to motor one. And motor two to motor two. So just label them up. It took me an extra 10 minutes to label them all with my label maker, but now I know for sure I got everything connected right. And if I ever disconnect it to move anything, you know, I'll know I get them back in the right place. So then I have the same cable, whatever motor two was down there. I just traced it back and labeled this end too. So I know I'm getting them in the right place. So now I've got two cables ready to hook up extra long. So let's move around and we'll start connecting the cables into the machine. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the Y rails or the Y stepper motors. And it, it, this thing is it's Y1, Y2 and it's in Y1 starts to the right, Y2 starts to the left. And if you're ever not sure, if you look at the way the cables are set up, so the, the Y2 cable is short. So it, it's set up for the control. Everything's set up from one finity. You can reverse it if you want to, but everything's set up from one finity where the controller is on the left side of the machine. So if you look at it this way, this is Y2, and then the Y1 cable is really long. So that tells you right there, the Y1 is the one that needs to go on the right side of the machine. And then same thing, it's got a little clip right here, a clip at the top. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, so that's connected. So let's move down, we'll connect the Y2. Okay, so we're down here on the left rail now, the left side, which is gonna be Y2. We got Y2 right there, and we're just gonna connect that same way right in there, it pops right in. So now my cable is just laying on top of the table up here. I'm not doing anything, I'm not moving anything, I'm not drilling any holes or doing anything as far as hiding my cables yet. I'm gonna get everything connected run the machine a little bit and just be careful with the cables. And then I'm going to come back and do cable management afterwards. That way I don't want to drill a hole somewhere and then go, man, I wish I'd have had the machine moved over two inches before I drilled this hole or whatever. So I'm going to test some of that stuff out. So we'll go ahead and connect the, uh, the Z and the X motors, and then we'll come back and we'll hook everything into the controller. Okay, so now we're ready to hook up the Z slider and the, uh, the X stepper motor. So right here, we got Z labeled right here. And they're, they're both right here together. This one goes right into the rail for the X axis. 
This one goes, if you look on the back side right here, this cable is here. So this is the one that goes to your V stepper motor. So this is going to be V right here. And that's clicked in there. And then this is my X one right here. So the X is going to go right there. And they're all connected. All the stepper motors are connected. So let's move back around and we'll connect them into the controller. Okay, so I've got my controller turned around backwards here just for ease of hooking up. So, so I've got my uh, motor one and motor two lines right here. And so I've got a motor one right there. So that's connected. And then I got my motor two, which goes right there. So that connects my, uh, let's see, it connects my Y rails there. And then find the other end. So this is for my X and Z. And it's gonna be motor three. I don't know why they didn't put these next to each other but it is what it is. It doesn't really matter, I don't guess. So putting motor three in, so that's connected. And then motor zero. And that's connected. So I've got my Z stop or my emergency stop, E stop down just to be safe. And then I've got my power cord. I've already got that plugged into my power strip. And then I'm going to rehook up my computer monitor back into my HDMI plug here. So I've got, and I've already got my USB fob for my keyboard and mouse. I've got my HDMI cord connected to my monitor, which is my TV. I've got all four of the stepper motors connected and we should be ready to go. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and we're gonna fire it up and see if the machine moves. Okay, now for the moment of truth. So I had the, the uh, emergency stop that you stop on. So you just push it down and twist it and it pops back up, so that's off. So we're ready to power the machine off. I got my monitor set on HDMI 2, which is the right one for this. So this thing should boot up. Okay, so it's asking us if we want to home the machine. So let's tell it we do. I'll use my mouse, hit OK. That's a cool feeling to finally see this thing move. <laughs> Hopefully it'll do what it's supposed to do. Come up here to the front. over a little bit. Okay, it says it's homed. So now we can see uh, we can get it to move that way. Okay, so it looks like everything works like it's supposed to. Let's bring it back to the front a little bit. X a little bit. And okay, so we are set. The thing moves. The next thing I need to do is I need to hook up my USB joystick. I'm gonna do that in a short, short separate video. And then after that, we'll do the dust collection system. Then we'll be ready to surface the spool board. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. 
you got any comments, questions, uh, I appreciate them. Just leave them down there in the bottom. Thank you. Bye.